Anyone who ventures into the forest or onto the beach equipped with a metal detector always hopes to track down a precious treasure from days long past. However, hobby treasure hunters are usually not likely to discover anything more than worthless junk on their excursions. But fortunately, this is not always the case. In fact, some people with their metal detectors have already uncovered ancient objects of immeasurable value that professional researchers would do almost anything to get their hands on. In today's video, you can find out which precious secrets have already been brought back to light with the help of clever devices. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Medieval Seal The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Briton Paul Henderson has long had a passion for recreational treasure hunting with metal detectors, an exciting hobby that quickly captivated Paul's 10-year-old son George. So it happened that a few months ago, the father-son team set out again to look for clues in the English county of Suffolk. In fact, it was only 10 minutes that day before George's detector went off, revealing a priceless historical artifact. After digging about 15 centimeters deep, the two discoverers saw a small object that bore an inscription in Latin and looked very old. With the help of experts, it soon became clear. George had found a 13th century monastic seal. Such metallic objects were then used to stamp official documents. The fact that George came across the approximately 800-year-old seal matrix was a real sensation in the ranks of the researchers. Normally, in the Middle Ages, it was common practice to melt down metal seals when they became too worn or no longer usable. Together with his family, the young treasure hunter decided to auction the rare seal. At the auction, the find was able to achieve the proud price of the equivalent of 4,800 euros. As required by law in England, the Hendersons will share this sum with the owner of the field where the seal was found. Particularly exciting, at the corresponding auction, not just one, but two artifacts were offered for sale which were tracked down with the help of metal detectors. Gold Ring from the Sheriff of Nottingham Don't get us wrong, the object that we're dealing with in our next case in no way belonged to Robin Hood's famous adversary, because he only exists in legends. The ring, found with a metal detector and sold at the aforementioned auction, was owned by the real Sheriff of Nottingham in the 17th century. Pieces of jewelry such as this noble gold ring represented the high social rank of the professional criminal hunter. In this case, it was 64-year-old Graham Harrison who recovered the historical artifact from a field in Nottinghamshire. The retired merchant marine officer described his sensational find as the absolute highlight of his amateur treasure hunting career. The ring, which is still in exceptionally good condition after all this time, came under the hammer for the equivalent of 10,000 euros. Find from another world it's 2012 when 13-year-old Jansen Lyons is scouring the plains of Rio Rancho, New Mexico with his metal detector. The teenager soon made a discovery that was literally out of this world, a meteorite weighing almost a pound. Later, it became clear that the so-called nickel-iron chondrite had impacted the Earth approximately 10,000 years ago and had been waiting to be discovered ever since. A piece of the cosmic missile was then displayed at the University of New Mexico while the young finder was allowed to keep the rest. Although he could make up to $1,000 or more by selling the object, Jansen prefers not to sell his galactic discovery. Beginner's Luck Some leisure explorers spend years searching for clues with their metal detectors without hitting a single bullseye. In the case of Britt Wesley Carrington, however, it was to be quite different. If you like, his story is a prime example of beginner's luck. 
After Wesley got his hands on a metal detector in 2013, he decided to try his new device right away. After just 20 minutes, the detector went off and revealed a hiding place with ancient Roman gold coins. All in all, the approximately 1,700-year-old coins are worth a whopping 117,000 euros today. Wesley then joked to the press that he'd already reached his peak as a treasure hunter and could now give up his exploration career. Special Underground Car Park Many of the valuable things that are tracked down with metal detectors are already several hundred years old. However, not all of the objects discovered are that old, but that doesn't mean their backstories are any less compelling. In 1966, a group of passionate trackers discovered a complete Ford Model T in Detroit. However, the discovery of the car, which had been built in 1913, was no mere coincidence. In the region in question, the legend had long persisted that a man named Nate Andrews decided to bury his car in the 1920s. Allegedly, this was done to protect the vehicle from deterioration and maintain its value. However, for some reason, Nate was later unable to retrieve his beloved Ford from its unusual parking spot. Frome's Hoard if you previously thought that finding a single valuable object was breathtaking enough, you should now listen carefully. Frome's Hoard, which was discovered around 12 years ago, consists of over 50,000 Roman coins together. Given today's topic, how could it be otherwise? Of course, it was a simple amateur treasure hunter who woke the coin pots, which were filled to the brim from their centuries-long slumber. Discovered near the eponymous town of Frome in the English county of Somerset, the Roman treasure is worth 385,000 euros. It took a total of three days for the archaeologists who had been summoned to free the entire hoard from the earth. Half of the proceeds went to the lucky finder. The other part went into the landowner's coffers. Crosby Garrett Helmet the so-called Crosby Garrett helmet is an ancient Roman artifact that many museums would clamor for. The problem, the parade helmet has been in the possession of an unknown private collector for over 10 years. Discovered in 2010 in the English county of Cumbria, the helmet was sold at the famous auction house Christie's shortly thereafter. The value of the helmet, which was not worn on the battlefield but only at ceremonial events, was previously estimated at 300,000 pounds. However, the masterpiece of Roman metalworking eventually ended up in the collection of an anonymous buyer for over 2.3 million pounds, a colossal sum that should outshine all the museums participating in the auction. So far, only two other completely preserved parade helmets of this type have been found in England. Staffordshire Treasure Around 3,900 individual items, many of which are made of gold, silver, and copper. Discovered almost 13 years ago, the Staffordshire treasure is one of the greatest Anglo-Saxon treasures to be recovered to date. The lucky finder, a man named Terry Herbert, who went to the field of a farmer friend in July 2009 to search for clues with his metal detector. Among the treasures dating back to the 7th century AD were golden sword hilts, magnificent helmets, and Christian crosses. The Staffordshire treasure is also of outstanding importance to historians. Accordingly, the recovered artifacts help to better understand the history of Anglo-Saxon England. Why the valuable objects were buried at this point of all places is still a mystery. It may have once been a sacred place where people made offerings. The valuable artifacts bring it to an incredible total value of 3.96 million euros. Golden Chalice 
In 1622, the Spanish galleon Santa Margarita sank 35 miles off the Florida coast. Since the wreck was rediscovered in 1985, it's been one of the most popular destinations for divers from all over the world. The experienced diver Michael DeMar also went near the sunken ship in September 2008 to look for long-forgotten treasures with his metal detector. When his device went haywire, Michael initially thought he'd stumble upon a plain old Coke can. A closer look, however, proved that he had just discovered a centuries-old magnificent gold chalice. The later analysis of the artifact then concluded that the golden chalice is worth $1.3 million. The Boot of Cortez Sometimes it's just time for a new hobby. A man from Mexico had the same thought, which is why he decided in 1989 to buy a cheap metal detector and simply give his treasure hunting luck a chance. A few days later, the spontaneous career changer was officially allowed to call himself the discoverer of the boot of Cortez. This is nothing other than one of the greatest gold nuggets of all time. In detail, the massive gold nugget weighs just over 12 kilograms. The sparkling discovery owes its nickname to its visual resemblance to an old boot. The object was exhibited in various museums over the years before it was sold at auction in January 2008. There, the boot of Cortez achieved the proud sum of one and a half million US dollars. Buried Treasure so we can all agree that nearly every discovery on this list could easily be classified as buried treasure. However, the discovery that Eric Laws made was a bit more spectacular than what anyone would have expected from an amateur treasure hunter. Eric Laws was once an ordinary man, but he's now become a multi-millionaire after his discovery of a hoard that had remained missing for centuries. Eric was outside searching for a hammer that one of his friends had lost. While he was searching, he made a very strange discovery. While he didn't find the hammer, he did find a silver spoon that appeared to be quite valuable. After unearthing the spoon, he continued his search, hoping to find another one just like it. To his surprise, he would find nearly a dozen more spoons. But that's not all. As he dug deeper, he also came across gold jewelry that was clearly from a much different time period. It was unlike anything he'd ever seen before, and the gold was truly a magnificent color. As he continued searching, he believed he'd already discovered the best of the best, However, he would be very wrong. After searching around a bit more, he then came across a hoard of gold and silver coins. Eric knew that he had just unearthed something magnificent and called in the help of an expert to better determine what he'd just found. The following day, a team of expert archaeologists came out and helped Eric continue his quest for buried treasure. Before long, they found exactly what they were looking for and much, much more. The following day, the team had managed to dig up more than seven pounds of gold, which would be worth somewhere around $170,000 when adjusted for modern inflation. But there was much more to the discovery than just the gold. The team of experts also managed to unearth more than 52 pounds of silver. Unfortunately, the silver wasn't worth nearly as much as the gold, but it was still worth a pretty penny. If melted down and sold, the silver would be worth somewhere around $13,000 today. Compared to some of the other discoveries on today's list, you may be thinking that this find wasn't quite as sensational as expected. However, you'd be very wrong. See, the team of archaeologists had no plans of melting down the silver they had just found. In fact, they believed that it would be worth far more if it were kept in its original condition and sold at an auction. And they were right. They gathered the pieces they had found and placed them in an acrylic container. When the items showed up at the desk of a historian a short time later, it was determined that the gold was buried thousands of years ago. The historian couldn't be entirely certain, 
but he had reason to believe that the gold had most likely been buried sometime around 450 AD. Unfortunately, we have no idea who the gold may have belonged to, nor do we know what tribe or settlement it may have come from. It appears to have come from a well-established settlement of some sort, as the gold appears to have been expertly crafted by a professional. Though, without more historical evidence, we just don't know for sure. Once the gold was given a date, it was then taken to a historical collectible auction. Once there, the gold fetched far more than Eric Laws could have ever imagined. When he left the auction, his discovery had netted him around two and a half million dollars. Keep in mind, if melted down and sold, it would have only been worth around $190,000. This discovery and subsequent sale of the valuable treasure made Eric Laws one of the most recognized names in the world of metal detector treasure hunters. Oh, and he found his friend's hammer as well. Alright folks, now it's your turn. Which extraordinary find fascinated you the most? Have you ever gone on a treasure hunt with a metal detector yourself? Let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. If you enjoyed our detour into the world of exciting discoveries, please give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Finally, please take a look at the other videos of our channel which we've linked for you here in the credits. Thank you for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.